The following is a fan-based parody! Sword Art Online is owned by A1 Pictures, Aniplex USA, and Reki Kawahara. Please support the official release on Bookwalker! Use promo code CARF to get 600 yen off your first purchase of digital manga or light novels. More details in the description below. Here we go! This looks familiar. Just keep that map open! We should be almost there! Uh, are you sure? We've been wandering for hours. How do little kids not get lost in here? Hello? Is someone there? Mommy, I'm scared. Uh, should we do something about that? No, that came from the Hall of History. They're basically already dead. Question one! In what year did man first walk on the moon? Oh, 1969! Incorrect! A communist conspiracy to lull America into a false sense of superiority and pave the way for the Ruskies army of psychic superbass! But that's not. Oh, look! It's so now! I have some serious bones to pick with this game's curriculum. I can't believe we just left him there. We had no choice. Besides, it was their fault for not knowing basic history. Wait, do you think that... No, no, do not engage, Kitty Toe. You'll only be hurting yourself. That's the spirit. Just try to hold on to what's important. Like that totally real wife of yours. Stop saying it like that. She is real. I get enough of that at home. And the less I think about that, the better. Oh, yeah? Got some trouble at home? You want to talk about it? <sighs> What's there to talk about? Parents are never around. And I'm fairly certain my sister sustains her life force with a rich slurry of distilled human anguish and the souls of puppies. Soon not a fan. Oh, no. I'm a huge fan of the way she berates and belittles everything I hold dear because I don't have a buttload of sports trophies like her. I should really be thanking her for pointing out how my hobbies will lead me to die alone and unloved, slowly consumed by my legion of cats. Wow. Sounds like this creative, young, beautiful woman is maybe lashing out. Is it? Possible you did something to hurt her at some point? That's the thing. I didn't do anything. You ever think that maybe that was the problem? Huh? Yeah, I hate to cut the session short, but I am picking up the signatures of 12 players directly behind us. <gasps> They're tracking us. There, it's dead. Now let's cheese it. It... It had a name. Yeah, the salamanders like to max out the affection levels of their pets so they'll be willing to go on suicide missions. It's like their go-to move. Zeus's beard! These people are monsters! Did... did Squeaker do good, Master? No. No. Squeaker did great. <laughs> <laughs> Candy Cane Capital! It's just called Candy Cane Capital? Ho ho ho! Nice try, little one! Oh no, you don't! Gah! You idiot! You spelled it Candy Cane Capital instead of Candy Cane Capital! Now we gotta wait for the lock to reset! But I said it out loud! Yeah, but I bet you thought about C's instead of K's, didn't ya? Of course I did! That's how all those words are spelled! Look, there's no time to debate this! They're almost here! Uh, we do not have time for this! Why do these hicks have it out for you anyway? Well, you see, it's all very complicated. Lots of shifting alliances and 
ancestral curses. You have no idea, do you? Uh, well, it's all so boring. Uh, I can only sit through so many trade route negotiations before I just go cross-eyed. <sighs> Whatever. I guess it doesn't really matter. You're the only one who knows any healing magic, so can you at least hang back and get me shielded or something? Oh, yeah. I can totally handle that. I got you, fam. <laughs> One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish! All right, Reaper, shield me! Reaper? Reaper, shield! Shield, Reaper! Reaper, shield me! <laughs> hey, did you want me to shield you there? Dude, I had no idea! We should really have some kind of signal or something. Uh, all right, here's a wild concept for you. How about you do it when I yell shield real loud? Don't be a baby about it. Have some stupid heels. C spot, C spot run, run spot run. <sighs> yeah, that's better. Leva, I found something in the code that might be helpful, but I require your assistance. Girl, you know what I'm about. You really think I'm gonna pass up such a prime opportunity to watch him suffer? This is hilarious. Please, I have to save her. I'm nothing without her. Dude, I am loving your commitment. See? Comedy gold right here. I cannot do this without you, Lipa. I can help Daddy, but he will be vulnerable while I work. I need you to put everything you have into shielding him from the next attack. I... I don't see why I should bother. I implore you. I understand that your bond is strained, but nothing can move forward unless one of you takes the first step. Well, why's it gotta be me, huh? He's the one that ruined my life! Because right now, like it or not, you are the only one with the chance to start putting things right. So please, won't you help him, Auntie Suku? Oh, that is cheating. Be that word, our sign of parting. Burn your feet, I shriek to start. Deep in the meadow, hidden far away, a cloak of leaves, a moonbeam ray! Take thy beak from out my heart, and take thy form from off my door! Quote the raven, Fireball! Yeah, Squirt. That is definitely going to be very helpful. I thought so. Gah! What tarnation is that? Hold firm, man. It's just illusion magic. He can't actually. <laughs> no! Not like this! Okay, that's my bee, fellas. I reckon we best skedaddle. Yay! Get them, Daddy! No! Please don't get us, Daddy! Does he need us here? It does not appear so. Daddy seems to have the situation well in hand. Cool, 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 cool. Think he'd mind if I popped out for a bit? You know, maybe grab a shower? I do not believe that would be a problem. If any salamanders get near you, I will subject them to a world of unimaginable pain and or terror. Grish. <sighs> huh? Huh? Oh, what the shit, Nagata? 96 missed calls? <laughs> Fucking what? Ah, you finally picked up. Oh, thank goodness, I missed you so much. Things are so bad, kitty guy. I, I, I don't even know where to begin. Oh, wow. Really? No, oh, no. Why don't you just slow down, take a deep breath, and pour that tea? Okay. Okay. Ah. Yeah, yeah, that helps. You were right, Suga. Casimir's totally up to something. Holy shit, really? You just wanted to get rid of me again, huh? I think we 
should just focus on the super good job that you did and not whatever I may or may not have done. Uh, well, in any case, uh, you were right on the money. When I was tailing Casimir and his goons, they wandered into the sewer entrance. They must have been really trying to keep things hush-hush because they all put on invisibility cloaks before heading in. Aw, it's like Harry Potter! I love it! Da 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 Come on, Nagata. You know better than anyone that just because they don't want to be seen doesn't mean they're up to anything shameful. Well, anything illegal. I don't think those guys were there for sewer handies, princess. I followed them in under cover of invisibility, and they were meeting with some salamanders. You incompetent hillbillies! How hard is it to kill one princess, huh? Look, boss, there, there wasn't nothing we could do. She had the spring of feather with her. Even the general turned tail. Them folks be slipperier than butter on a biscuit, I tell you what. What the blazes are you even... <sighs> Never mind. As it turns out, it seems we won't be needing her head after all. I have it on good authority that the Queen herself is signing a treaty in Butterfly Valley as we speak. Tell your king if they hurry. They can even hunt a few catsy if they wish. Well, geez, uh, I really wish you told us that before we're done. Say like 20... 30. 30 guys after them. They're on the trail right now. Oh, looks like they're checking in. Hey, Ramrod, what's the cinch, my brother? We're just about to follow them into the tunnel, sir. Look at this! Squeaker's wife just had the babies! Nobody tell him yet. We're gonna surprise him after the mission. <laughs> Is someone there? I just need you to know, I fought bravely. Okay, so what's the problem? I don't know what they're up to, but it sounds like they're gonna get off my dick. Seems like a win-win. But they're gonna ruin the treaty and pillage our lands! Still sounding like a lot of not my problem, Nagata. I'm the princess. I'll bounce back. Ooh, maybe I'll start my own country. And all the guys will have to wear thongs. Except the fat ones. No fatties in lethal land. What I can't figure out is how they even found out about the signing in the first place. That was top secret info. Man, I do not envy whoever spilled those beans. Queen Saki is going to want their head on a pike. Uh... What's going on? Where did I go just now? Am I running? Why do I taste mayo? Not naming names, but someone leaked information about the peace treaty. So now the Salamander army is on their way to attack it. Didn't you do that? I said we're not naming names. Gosh, what part of this do you not understand? A lot, actually. Like, weren't we just headed to some Christmas village? I was kind of curious to see it. Oh, you saw it all right. You're, uh, definitely not allowed back. So, given that anyone with half a brain could have seen this coming a mile off, I assume you've thought of a way to dig yourself out of this mess? Uh, right! Well, I figure we get there early, warn my mom and the Catsy about the attack, and we lay an ambush for them long before those frat boys ever get there! They're already there. Exactly! No! What? Ah. Uh... No. Oh no! Your carefully laid plans! Brought to ruin by the cruel hand of time! Well, what do you suggest we do, smart ash? I mean, it's a peace conference. Why don't we try to make peace? Let's just talk to them. Uh, I guess that might work. Except... Except what? So like, remember when I told you this is an RP server? Yeah, so what? Uh... Oh no. They'll never listen to you otherwise. No! I, I refuse to engage! You cannot make me! Eh, it's your call, bro. Sidebar, how long does it take for Stockholm Syndrome to set in? <sighs> the things we do for love. <laughs> <laughs> They've got us here meowed Sakuya-sama! What should we do? Yes, you Never fear, you upsetting child! We need only keep a cool head and open a dialogue. Leave! Go away! No! Blast! Well, what are you waiting for? One of you go kill them! Um, okay.
Very well. We are willing to hear the terms of your surrender. Uh -huh. <coughs> <coughs> hear ye, hear ye! It is I, Kitty Toe, the uh, Viscount of the Spriggan Cigarette. That's all your name tag says, bruh. I come before you today to speak on behalf of my people. Well, we killed all your people! Yeah, you did. I'm speaking, of course, of my adopted people. The, uh... What's another race in this game? Uh, the Undine? The Undine, yes! They graciously took me in after my brethren were savagely massacred, apparently. And in their great wisdom, they have sent me with an offer to join the Sylph Catsy Alliance. If your grace would have us, that is. Ew, no! The Undine had thrown in with a Spriggan? I always knew there was something off about them. Breathe air or water, pick a side. Mom, please, read the room. But we're outside, dear. And with that, a powerful alliance is made. So be warned, Salamanders. If you attack this conference now, you will not just be facing the Sylphs and the Catsy. Nay, nay! You will also have to answer to the full force of the Undine and the Spriggans to an obviously much lesser degree. <laughs> is that right? So those bougie little lordlings are shacking up with the cats and the fish people? And the Spriggans! I think we'll take our chances. Forgive the cliché, but I give it a week before half of y'all just eats the other half. How dare you! The Catsy may be delicious, but they are a powerful and succulent ally. Granted, we may resemble the food chain more than an alliance, but that only speaks to the strength of our resolve. So before you do anything rash, Salamander, I just have one question for you. Did you guys eat the Spriggans? Is that what happened to us? I like you, boy. You're a funny little thing. That doesn't answer my question. Very well. Why don't we skip the theatrics and settle this whole rigmarole one-on-one? -on -one. mono e mono dangle to dangle So, rather than leaving this in the hands of our clearly equivalent armies, you propose that we decide this with just the two of us? Sure, why not? I want to wrap this thing up quick. The boys and I have got a bat baby shower to get to. Um, sir, about that. No, no. You can tell me the good news after I crush this insect. It'll make the victory all the sweeter. Huh. Well, if you're going to be such a gentleman about it, who am I to refuse? You hear that, babe? I'm a gentleman. Ugh. You're gross, Eugene. Wait, his name is Eugene? <laughs> yeah! Ah! Oh, Dip, he might be dead. What just happened? He totally blocked that! It's Eugene's special sword, Desu! It's very meowful. If you try and block it, Nya, it'll just pass right new! I'm sorry. I'm sure there was a useful nugget of info in there somewhere, but could you just, like, not? You spriggans never learn, always poking your big old noses into other people's badness. Ugh, I hate myself for asking, but what is everyone's deal with spriggans? What insipid lore did you come up with to hate us so fervently? Oh, don't play dumb. You ain't pretty enough to pull it off. Oh. You expect me to believe you don't know your sins when you carry his name? Whose name? What the heck are you talking about? The Alpha, the Great Betrayer, Kirito Crime! Um, that's a... Uh, wow. Yeah, I'm gonna eat a minute. Yeah. Sorry, I'll try not to break it. Yeah, Kirito? All right, Spriggan. Enough of your time! Sugoi! He vanished like a laser pointer! 
Sugoi indeed, Princess Hime. His magic is most Josu. Swear to Tiamat, I will eat you! Come into sorry! Hey, Big Red! <laughs> you miss me? Ugh, you dare use my own trick against me? <laughs> I'm sorry. I just felt like it's what my character would do. <laughs> Ever since I got back, it's been one thing after another. I keep trying to do the right thing, but all it's done is cost me everything I love. What was it all for? And to top it all off, you morons even found a way to ruin my day! Your name? Okay, but like, why did he explode though? Goodness, Majesty. Bringing me back to life? Why, that's unusually civil of you. Don't thank me yet, Eugene. I only did it so you and your goons would leave us alone. You can wire me the 300 gold for the diamond. Oh? Couldn't loosen the purse strings a bit for a raised dead? Typical Saku, yeah. Okay, well, at least they're talking. Maybe we can get those armies after all. <clears throat> Give it a minute. How dare you! Good sir, do you mean to imply that my kingdom is cheap? Heavens no! Certainly not when that outfit's doing all the work for me. Oh, like you're one to talk! What is this armor you festooned yourself with? You've got like a bowl for a shoulder pad? And is it a bloody fidget spinner? I'll have you know this medal is the highest honor our military can bestow. National Anthem always brings a tear to this veteran's eye. Oh my gosh, Becky! I never said I was a veteran! I just think that what I do and serving in the Navy ain't that different! You're a lifeguard, Brian! Leifa? Leifa, what's happening? They, uh... They used to date. Oh no. Yeah. Hacked each other's accounts. Stole their characters to mess with each other. Their breakup is basically the cornerstone of our lore. Oh no! I just love pickup trucks and footballing and ice cold Miller Lite with just a smidge and a lime. Gosh, I'm such an alpha. Ooh, look at me! I idolize a time period when I'd have absolutely no rights or indoor planning. I'd probably make much more sensible decisions if my makeup weren't just chock full of lead. It's from Sephora, you caveman! Um, sweetie. Oh, hey baby, what's up? Um, me and the boys were just thinking maybe we should call it a day, you know? What? Do you not think I can beat him? Is this because I'm a woman? What? No, baby, no. It's just that if we want to binge that season of The Crown later, uh, we're really going to need to get going. Wow, Becky. You should really learn to keep better control of your man. Oh, because it's always about control, isn't it, Brian? You were always like this. Apologizing on your behalf because you puked on the neighbor's dog again is not being controlling, Becky! No, oh, like you never puked on that dog! It's called solidarity! Look it up! <sighs> you know what? Jonathan's right. Y'all ain't worth it. Consider yourselves lucky that I am in a healthy relationship now. Deuces! I cannot believe you slept with her. Hey, she's your cousin, Denise. Ugh, that man just has a way of getting under my skin. I could really use a pick-me-up. Private, what was that good news you wanted to tell me? Squeaker! No! So, we're probably not getting their army, are we? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go with a tentative, nah? Ahem! Viscount, was it? I see. So Casimir was the one who gave away our location. He has always had a tendency to go rogue with his role-playing, gunning for my throne and whatnot, but beating up my scribes for the information is low, even for him. Yep, that sure is what Leifa said, Urban. Quiet, you! 
So, this Casimir guy is just making some kind of grab for power? What, did he just get tired of trying to marry into the family and cut a deal with the salamanders? Ah, <sighs> were his ambitions so simple? No, this goes much deeper than that. Princess Hime Kuroneku Desuchan of the Nyan Nyan tribe! Fetch me a moon mirror! Well, Trav, you finally did it. All your wheeling and dealing has finally paid off. Sure, I wish it hadn't come to such drastic measures, but they'll come to see the necessity of it in time. Heck, by now they might already be. Kazmir! Ah! Your Majesty! <laughs> to, to what do I owe the... the... Oh, stick a can in it, Kaz! I know all about what you've been plotting. And scheming. No. But, but how did you find out that you've been going behind my back to make Becky and I talk? Wasn't flipping hard, you Judas! I'm sorry, he was pointing what now? Well, can you really blame me, Brian? This game used to be fun, but ever since you two broke up, you've been forcing us to choose sides and fight a proxy war just to spend a little time with you! Oh, you sound just like Kirito and his heretical spriggans. An embarrassment to the name. Ted had the right idea. He just wanted you guys to talk things out so we could at least be friends again. He didn't have to wipe out his entire race. Whoa, that's what happened? Is it weird that I'm just kind of relieved it wasn't the cannibalism thing? I only regret that I didn't stand with my spriggan brothers when they needed me the most. You! Last of the Kiritos, I'm so sorry for the way I treated you. I, I had to maintain the ruse. It was the only way. I just wanted peace between the races. Your mad dreams end here, Travis. You're banished. No! Well, I don't feel good about anything that just happened. So, Mom... Can I just say you're looking real pretty today? <sighs> what do you want? What? Me? Mother! I would never be so inconsiderate as to beg for a favor after he's gone through such a perilous ordeal! He would, though. Hey, how's it going? Can I borrow your armies? Wow! Way to just go in dry. Look, we wasted all day on your thing. Now it's Kirito's turn. Huh. Well, I suppose you did just pull our fannies out of the fire. But if you'd be so kind as to permit a follow-up question... Why? All right, here we go. Hark, thy majesty, and heareth mine own tale of woe. Dial it down a bit. Dad, my beloved has been snatched away by the cruel king of the world tree, and I require your aid if I hope to reach the summit alive. Yeah, you speak of Obi-Wan, Desu. Indeed I do, Princess. He may. That's Princess He may send pie to you, Spriggan. Hey, so the cats are a non starter. What say you, Queenie? I'm sorry, Spriggan, but do you really think all it takes is an army to win a race war? Do you see me drowning in Lambos? To conquer the world, we would require an army larger than any single nation could provide, Nya. Okay, so then why not just do it together? Isn't that the whole point of this treaty? Please! This is simply a non-aggression pact stating that Eugene knew exactly what he was doing when he bought those opera tickets, even though Sakuya had been talking about attending the Lakers game that night for actual months because Eugene never listens unless it's about her things! <sighs> Besides, why would we work together when only one race could receive the wish? Wait, was the wish thing part of the game, or did we make that up? No, no, it, it's totally real, because remember back when we, um, huh. Look, the point is the answer's no. We're so sorry we can't be of more help, but we wish you luck on your suicide mission. May your deaths be swift and painless. So, that's it? I averted a war and weeded out your quote-unquote traitor, and all you can offer is a terrifying insight into your social lives that is somehow both way too in-depth and agonizingly vague? Seems that way, yeah. Thanks for understanding. And try to chill out a little, okay? It's just a game, you know? <sighs> yeah, I'll uh, try to keep that in mind. Hey, um... 
So that was the colossal waste of our precious time. <laughs> oh, Dewey, I know I I'm angry too, but you gotta calm down. No, no, I will not calm down, Daddy. We have allowed this smooth brain charlatan to squander seven hours, 48 minutes, and 12 seconds. Yeah, yeah, I get it. But losing your cool isn't gonna help either. Let's just cut our losses and make a break for the tree. Finally, a reasonable suggestion. Hey, Kirito? <sighs> so, like, I'm sorry we couldn't get that army, I promised you. This has been a huge time sink, and I know that's my fault. But, like, for what it's worth, I really appreciate you helping us out. You seem like you were maybe working through some stuff during the fight. And like, just wanted to say, if you keep on keeping on, it gets better, probably. Because like, one good turn deserves another. And if you pay it forward, every rose has its thorns. I'm sorry, I was waiting for a punchline. Or... Are you genuinely trying to make me feel better? Do you not? I'm throwing out my A material over here! Well, I think Poison might have some claim on that last bit. Look, I'm kind of out of practice, okay? Now are you gonna take my encouragement, or do I have to ram it down your throat? Oh, yeah, no, you, you, you're doing great. I'm feeling just so much better already. Just like every night has its own. I'll kill you! I just like every cowboy sings the sad, sad song. Where is everybody? They must have gotten wise to plan A. Eat employees until they're too scared to work on mind control. Well, I guess it's time to move on to plan B. Actually escaping. If they want to deny me my pound of flesh, then I shall quietly disappear. A whisper of the world. <sighs> Good start there, Asuna. Good start. <laughs>